Well, David, Rebecca, Travis, this is exciting. Like all, everybody here together, first time we've ever had this group on yes. a cafe. And so thank you guys for being here. So um, man, this song, um, I have an affinity for this old hymn because, I mean, I grew up Church of Christ and man, we sang this song probably every three or four weeks. Yeah. And so David, Rebecca, I think, the, you know, I, you guys had sent over like a real rough, you guys were, it's like, hey, we took a stab at this hymn or whatever. And I just remember how excited I was. I don't, because I don't know that anybody's really touched this hymn in a while, at least, you know, that I've heard in a significant way. Um, and I think for the church, songs like this and, and going back and remaking these old hymns is super important because there is a lot of good lyric and good theology in these songs. Mm -hmm. And to be able to put these things into a, a format and a, and a melody and, and add some things to it that make it really compelling again for worshipers and congregations. It's, yeah. I think it's really important. But maybe to start with you guys, talk about because I know you guys, you started the song, then Travis came in, you guys finished it together, mm -hmm. but maybe give us an idea of like why this hymn, what was it about the hymn, and then just working on it together. 
Yeah, I just remember we were sitting in the room and we knew we wanted to rewrite a hymn and we were just kind of talking through which one. So many have been rewritten already. And um, David said, love lifted me. I was just sitting at the piano and I just played this progression and I said, love lifted me, love lifted me. And he said, what is that? It's like, I don't know. (laughs) And um, we just wrote the chorus um, right there. And then, um, yeah, the rest of it, we just... Yeah, it's such a great, such a great hymn, and we really wanted to keep the chorus kind of intact. What, yeah. what people were familiar with, just change the melody a little bit, uh, and then kind of rework the verses, bring some new freshness to those. And so, really, really pleased with the way it turned out. Yeah. Yeah, and Travis, we were um, together a few nights ago, and you were actually leading this with some folks here in Franklin. It was a concert. It was amazing. But you talked about like the original treatment of this hymn. I mean, this lyric is like. Man, like I was sinking deep in my sin, but this original melody was like, oh, did it, did it. I was sinking, bouncing. That's right. right. But talk about, yeah, talk about this song. And I mean, as a worship leader, and we all lead worship in different places, but um, man, what this song meant to you when you heard it, and, and why is this a song you felt like that was important for the church? Well, I'm like you and, and David and Becca, and my, I had. I have a hymn heritage, you know, I, I I have this whole history where these songs have really meant a lot to me and to my people, you know, mm-hmm. the people that I was raised worshiping with. And so um, that's, that song has eluded me as an adult because I did feel like while I can find an emotional connection with the original, the original tune and the original setting, I really can to um, offer it kind of in today's context of worship, there was just a little bit of disconnect mm. for me. And so, um, but like they have said, the words, the, the words, the sentiment, the idea of this hymn is so beautiful and so strong, powerful in the life of a believer. And so David and I, we have a million conversations about songs that are just floating in his head, and he always has a million of them floating up there. and. You know, what, what do we want to chase and what do we want to talk, write? What do we want to talk about? And he happened to mention, you know, I, I've started this song with Becca and it's it's a, a take on Love Lift to Me. And I just remember that being highlighted in my mind going, that's really interesting to me. We didn't, we didn't jump right on it. Mm-hmm. We actually came back around. Tell me about Love Lifted Me. And so, of course, when I heard it, the, the haunting, it has a haunting... Uh, progression, you know, but such a lift in the chorus. And we really uh, brought some, I don't know what the word is, kind of aggression to the to the bridge. Like, so the song just has this steady climb that by the time that you get to this bridge and this kind of proclamation, whether you're one or two singers or your whole choir congregation, mm. it's just a like, you, no holds barred at that point. You're just like, I got to let all this out about what I think about the love of the Lord. Yeah. And I love that. I love that. Yeah, it's amazing. Mel, walk us through what you're playing. What key are you doing this in? Well, <laughs> I, we just did it here in C. It, we did it, and I think D flat has such a nice ring to it. I can't believe it. I, I mean, I can't remember. Where, what did you write it in? I don't when you started that. it, it might have been C. C, D flat. C. Yeah, we, yeah, we do it in D flat. I love the ring of D flat, but. Uh, we, we we did this in C today, and um, the verses have a real uh, kind of minor feel, right? And so it starts with six minor. I was sinking deep in sin to four to one. I was buried in my shame to five. And it does that, uh, three, you know, all the way through the verse. Through the darkness you reached out and you called me by name. Waves of fear all around. Never thought I would be found. And then it turns to the chorus. Just before the chorus, it goes to the four. You heard my cry, six minor, and rescued me. And then that five sets up the chorus. Love lifted me, six, four. Love lifted me. But it feels so much, you know, it's the same, it's the same uh, changes as the verse, but it feels completely different. Mm-hmm. 
and then the and then the chorus is is just the same the same changes, and um, then then the bridge starts that intensity and it starts with the six minor. Nothing is greater for, nothing is stronger, in deepest waters to one to five. Love is deeper still. When I was hopeless, you were relentless. Your love will never fail. And then we go into that big, um, it's deeper, it's wider. We know your love will never fail. It's just six minor to five over seven to one. I love it. Just a big old build up. Just a big old build up. <laughs> and I, I, I do, just to go back to the chorus, I love David is so great about text painting, and you're never going to find David saying the word lift and going down. I love that about him. <laughs> that it just so naturally goes, love lifted me, and it fits, it fits that, uh, mm. that lyric just perfectly. Well, it's a great update of an old hymn. Thankful that you guys have done it, and I'm thankful that the church gets to bring this song back into worship again. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Love lifted me.